Our next story is about forming friendships. Troops from Saudi Arabia are in India and this is a landmark event because India and Saudi Arabia will host their first ever bilateral army exercise. It's named Sada Tansik, an Arabic term which means forever in coordination. This year is the inaugural edition. There will be more in the future. The Saudi troops are in India till the 10th of February. So where is the exercise being held? In the western Indian state of Rajasthan, hidden in the sand dunes, is a small town called Mahajan. The Indian army has a special desert warfare range there. And this is about 280 kilometers from Pakistan, which is an interesting detail because there was a time when Islamabad had its troops in Saudi Arabia. But times have changed now. The Saudi Kingdom's troops are in India to perform combat drills. A 45-member contingent of the Royal Saudi Land Forces is taking part. India too has a 45-member team from the mechanized infantry. The unit is called the Brigade of Guards. The exercise began yesterday, the 29th of January. They'll perform a wide range of military maneuvers over a span of almost two weeks. The main focus will be on three things. Coordinate and search operations, house intervention drills and live fire exercises. The two armies have even put up a joint statement. It says the troops will share their experiences, techniques and tactics. But like I said, the larger focus is on friendship. And how did this come about? Let's take you back to September last year. New Delhi hosted the G20 summit. India's diplomatic influence was on full display. And right after the summit began a state visit. Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, better known as MBS. He was India's guest. MBS and Prime Minister Modi held extensive meetings. They agreed to expand cooperation in trade and investment, in energy and in defence and security. And the result is this. Their first ever army drills together. Prime Minister Modi's personal equation with MBS has played a role. India and Saudi Arabia have been getting closer, particularly in defence. In fact, it all began three years ago in 2021. The Indian Navy sent the INS Kochi to Saudi Arabia, the same ship that is currently deployed in the Red Sea. In 2023, the naval drills expanded. India sent two warships instead of one. The focus was on sea dominance and anti-piracy drills. And fast forward to today. The military engagement has evolved. It's because mutual trust is deepening. India and Saudi Arabia have established a joint committee on defense cooperation. So basically, Saudi Arabia has now become a major partner. In fact, this is part of a trend. Earlier this month, India hosted tro troops from the UAE. Guess where those drills were held? The sand dunes of Rajasthan, the very same place where the Saudi troops are now performing their drills. So is this a message to Pakistan? Because there was a time when Islamabad was a close ally of West Asia, Pakistani troops, like I told you, were stationed in Saudi Arabia. And this, this was the case for decades. Pakistan also trained thousands of Saudi troops. Their defense cooperation had no limits, it seemed. But now Saudi troops coming to India shows a clear shift. Also a message to the Islamic world that New Delhi has their trust. And with the security crisis in the Red Sea, stronger military ties between India and West Asia means only good news for the region.